Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make invisible gears. What I have here is a steel plate where I've stuck neodymium magnets all around it, and they're alternating from north to south. So if I were to turn this, it would create an alternating north and south magnetic field. Now if you wanted to, you could take these magnets and put some power into it and turn it. And if you did that near a bunch of coils of wire like this, then it would generate electricity in those wires because a changing magnetic field induces electricity in a wire. These wires are all connected together in such a way that you can direct the electricity to create a large current coming out of the ends of the wires here. But what if instead of wires you just had a chunk of metal? What would happen then? Well, what it would do is create something called an eddy current. An eddy current is basically pushing electricity through wires, except there's no wires, there's just a chunk of metal, and so the electricity moves in a circle. And when you have electrons moving around in a circle, that also creates a magnetic field that opposes the initial magnetic field that made them move in the first place. Eddy current is the reason why when you take something like aluminum that's not magnetic by itself and drop it past a magnet, it will fall slower. So you can see how slow this big chunk of aluminum falls near my giant neodymium magnet. So let's see what happens when we don't allow the conductive material to move. I have a coin here and I'm going to spin these magnets below it and put the coin near it. Normally what will happen is it'll try to push the coin out of the way, but if I glue the coin down to something and don't let it move, then it can't push it out of the way, and so the electrons are just gonna swirl around in a circle and create a lot of friction and heat it up. Let's see if we can actually boil water on this coin here just by letting the magnets turn below it. So notice how the plastic doesn't get hot. The water's not hot at all right here, but then if I put it on the coin, it flash boils. So that extreme heat just came from alternating magnets below it. You can see the magnets are well below the coin, so it's not traditional friction heating it up. This coin is glued down right now. Watch what happens if it's not glued down. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Ow! This is actually how induction cooktops work. They just have an alternating magnetic field below it, and so when you put a conductive pan above it, it heats up that pan because of the changing magnetic field. But if you don't have something conductive, it doesn't do anything to it, and so it's not as dangerous. So we saw what happened when we didn't let the conductive thing move, but what if we allow the thing to move now? Well, you can create something that I like to call invisible gears. I have this aluminum flywheel here. Watch what happens when I bring it near the magnets. Notice how the aluminum isn't attracted to the magnets at all. But watch what happens when I spin it. So the spinning magnets drag the aluminum along with it. Now let's actually use the magnets to turn this flywheel, which will turn this fan here. Okay, now watch this. Okay, there we go. We got our eddy current powered fan here. There's a ton of space above there and it's still able to spin just fine. So you can see this acts as invisible gears now. You can see that I can stop this, and if I'm holding it in place, it just starts heating this disc up here. So I'm not gonna break any gears this way. It's a very loosely coupled gear. But if I move it a little bit lower, it's gonna be coupled better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Took the fan off because it got too high a speed. This, this has some really good torque now. Look at that, I can barely hold on to it. Ugh. Thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. 
If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest videos. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is the second channel I have where I do videos similar to this channel, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.